Detroit police officer is off the job after it was revealed she had a racy page on the OnlyFans website. Our own Fox News Randy Wimbley joins us with the naked truth about this story. It's not the kind of side work police departments want cops engaged in off duty. Took the serve and serve and protect a little <laughs> further than we needed to go. Now Janelle Zielinski is off the force after DPD confirmed she was running an OnlyFans page. It's a content subscription service used primarily by sex workers who produce pornography. One of our officers through her Instagram account uh, had a paywall set up and was posting uh, pornographic videos on the other side of the paywall. People who were going on there accessing that clearly knew that she was a Detroit cop. Yes, it appears so. Chris Gravelin, director of DPD's professional standards section, says Chief James White was informed of the OnlyFans account Tuesday morning. He launched an investigation and later suspended Zelensky. Top brass later found out she resigned the day prior. As long as she's not doing anything illegal, OnlyFans is legal, right? Mixed reaction amongst people we talked with in downtown Detroit. You know, you represent the city uh, when you, you know, you got on the, you, the badge and, you know, it's just bad representation for the yeah. city, in my opinion. I don't think she should technically get in trouble for it. Since she's promoting it, like, on her Instagram along with promoting being a cop, I could see how that's a conflict of interest. OnlyFans has proved to be a financial boon for some content creators. An Arizona teacher claims to have made a million dollars on the site after quitting her job and posting videos on the platform full time. Zelensky had been on the force for less than a year. She graduated from the police academy back in March. Okay then. Okay then. And it's not the first time a cop turned in their badge before they could even break it in. Mohamed Salome resigned after getting into a drunken fight in Greektown just hours after graduating from the police academy last year. Gravelin says cops have to be above reproach. Well, one of the bedrocks of DPD is that you have to keep your private life unsullied as well. And so this is a major uh, point of emphasis to our officers. And so when we see something like this, uh, the command moves very quickly. Chief White takes these things very seriously because it represents not just DPD, but all of the city of Detroit. Now, Zelensky's resignation is effective September 23rd, but because she was suspended, she'll basically be off the job up until that point. We reached out to her for comment, no response.